Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to run through the four stages of database connectivity using PDO code. So what I've whipped up here is a very simple website. Okay, um, it just runs through them nice and simple. So if I run into a browser here, so I've got a create page. So I can come in here and then I can add them in. So I can go Fred, Fred, and hit create. The account's being created. He's listed there. Then if I add... Um, we go Mary and Mary and we'll create that account and then we'll put in Scott and Scott create the account okay so now I've got three accounts here now just so you realize the database is very similar to what we've been using in tutorials I have an elite database with a users table here it's got a username password and type the type if I was having an having a website that has a public site, a registered section, and an admin section, I would put the admin, the word admin into type, so when they logged in, it would check that type. But that's maybe for another later, for a video later on. So now from here, let's have a quick look. So the edit here, what it does, I click on edit, it pre-fills the forms for me, so I can now say Fred is one two three, and I'll add one two three to his password here. Click on edit. As you can see, the information here has changed. Fred123, Fred123. If I wanted to say get rid of Mary here and delete her, just click the delete button and she's gone. I can recreate her like this, just typing it in. Here we create again. One thing you should note is that the ID number here has changed. Okay, remember back when we create tables here, the primary key, so if we go back to the structure of the table, the primary key, the ID key, is auto-incrementing. So this means that the system does it, not you. So you don't have to worry about that number, it'll figure itself out. So that's what it does. So let's have a look at the code. Now, all this code is inside tutorials uh, 7, 8, uh, sorry, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, so let's have a look. This is the index page. The first thing that we have coming up here is a bit of PHP code. It connects and creates a database link here. Okay, so we connect to the functions.php page, which if I click on this one here is this page. Now, this particular function, if you notice, we contain the username, the password, the host. We then use the PDO information to connect to the database, and then we return whether or not we worked. Once we have that returned information, we'll either know whether or not the connections actually occurred. And then we're just doing a simple list here to create to the PHP and then we run a PHP function called list users here. Now let's run through the create first. So when I click on create from here, if I go create, we go to a page called create.php. So if I go up here, this is it. A nice simple form using post is my method. My action goes to the create res.php. That's all it does. It just collects the information and then it sends it to this create res. So once I've filled out the form, I then go to this page here. So when we're doing it from here, if I put in um, Gene and Gene and click create, if you notice up in the address bar, this says it goes to create res. So we're resolving it now. And in here, let's have a look. So I've got a connection to the functions. So now I can connect to the database. This lets me know if I've made it to the database. Here I'm collecting the information out of post memory, storing it into two databases. Then I'm running this information into a function. This function then, the function result then goes into this variable. And this will then tell me if the account was created or if something went wrong. So let's have a quick look at this create function. So this is stored on my functions page. And this is called insert user. So this uses a simple MySQL command, insert into users. So users here is the table. So if I go back to the local host here, go to my database, you'll see I've got one table, it's called users. This stores this information, and this is how we connect to it. So we go insert into users. The ID, remember, auto incrementing. The username and the password. I'm not using type because it's irrelevant at this point in time. So I'm just collecting the username and password information I'm feeding the values using these names, these labels, 
then I'm using bind parameter to ensure that I've got no SQL injection because remember PDO does that natively I execute the result and I return whether or not it worked once I've got that that's when this little bit of logic kicks in if it works I get a link back and it tells me if not a mistake has occurred so when we run it normally we get account created so now from here this is where this function comes into play so this is that list function again back on the index page so we'll go back to the index page so list users it's a function therefore it goes in the functions file this is the function here okay so what we do is we bring in the database connectivity we then select everything from users because that's what we're after we're listing everyone now from here we've got a little bit of spacing around it we're showcasing the ID the username and the password then we're just adding uh, simple HTML code around it to provide two links one for edit and one for deletion the thing to make note of here is that this bit of code here we're actually pulling the ID of that user account at the end of this okay so if I go back to the browser here every time I run my mouse over the edits down in the bottom corner you should see it changing the address will pop up and go like ID is five six seven three five six seven which is what these numbers here all match up so that's what that does so back from the index once we've got that we can then go click on say the edit so we click on Scott to edit it pre-fills the form so let's go and have a look at edit.php so edit.php here the first thing we do once again is we connect up to functions we make our database link we establish the connection now here we're getting the ID so remember I used get here to send the details across that's why it's up here in the address bar which has edit PHP question mark ID equals 5 now with that I use this function here to collect information so I'm collecting the username and the password and specifically storing them into here so let's have a quick look at this return single detail function I use this one all the time because it allows me to really dig into pulling out one single item so this is all PDO again so here each one of these variables instigates uh, I mean points to a specific field so I use my database connect the ID whatever it is if I'm using a dollar sign ID if I'm using dollar sign UID dollar sign my ID the UID field just in case the UID field in the database table isn't ID I can change it to say UID or unique ID or primary identifier whatever matches the database the table that I'm getting it from and the particular field in that table which matches the ID that I've sent in that's the information I want to give back so once I've done all that then I basically retrieve all this information and I just return that specific point of information with that returned if we come down and look at my form down here it's pretty much a normal form except if you notice I'm still putting information into the address bar here okay so I'm using post to get my details across here but I'm using a get to um, feed this details into here so I'm forcing a get it's not actually sending it by by get correctly all the way through but I'm forcing that ID number to come across um, from here once I've submitted I then go to the edit res page where I gather up my information again so I've connected gather it up I then run two functions update the password and update the user once more back into the functions that's these two guys here it just updates it one at a time update users here um, so we're updating the user table where I'm setting the password where the ID matches so the ID once again is pointing to that specific user primarily the update user is exactly the same okay so I'm saying update users set username um, so they're basically the exact same if you wanted to you could combine them into the one function where you're just feeding in parameters I didn't in this case just to make it obvious as to how we update stuff so once we have finished the edit res okay we then provide a link that then takes us back to the index page so from here once again Scott I can go Scott 
Summers, and we'll put the same thing here for his password. Edit the account, we'll return. And now as you can see here with the details pulled out, we've got Scott-Summers placed in there. So the next thing on the list to do is the delete. Okay, so delete is pretty simple. Um, I'm going to delete Fred123, so I'll just click on delete. Notice how this feeds up here in the address bar, the ID number. I then have a return. That's it. If you're doing this for like, uh, for real, instead of just um, mucking around like I am here, then you want to prompt that end user to make sure they're really sure about deleting this stuff. So how does this work? So we take a look at our function, which lists our users. Just back here, so delete PHP, we're attaching the ID. So from here we go to delete PHP. Same type of deal. Functions connection, database connection, it's established, gathering the ID from the address bar, and then we're running this function called delete user. So back into the functions we go, we scroll down, and here we go, this is the delete user. So what we're doing here was we're creating the SQL, delete from the user table, where ID equals ID. That's it. And then we we use the bind parameter to hook it all up, and then we just execute it. And there you go, that deletes it all. So that is your basic CRUD functionality. So remember, create, read, update, and delete in PDO format. Feel free to use the code and abuse the code. Enjoy.